Three, two, one. Hey, internet friends. This is Magic Brad with Synergy Cafe, the Synergy Collaborative and Synergy Lifestyle Academy. And I've got Chris Bress. Did I say it good, Chris? Bress. You did. That was good. Thank you, Magic Brad. That works. <laughs> Yay. So I'm a little concerned that you're going to make me disappear at some point during this show. And you do that. Then you're no gone. Where'd you go? <laughs> I won't pull any chicanery. <laughs> We're all good and straightforward here. Well, what part of town are you in? I'm in Houston. I live, I live Houston. in Houston, Texas, and I've been here a very long time. How about you? I'm in Minnesota, so just down 35W. <laughs> so uh, it's a lot colder there, and uh, it doesn't get cold here, uh, really. I mean, we complain, and we throw on our jackets and everything, and you, you guys laugh at us for putting a jacket on, you know, in 58-degree weather. Yeah, I did a convention here once. It was the international convention, and uh, it was in, like, I think August, and that's hot here. And people brought jackets because they're concerned that Minnesota is so cold. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's not that bad. So, Chris, you married and got kids and all that stuff? I do. So, uh, I am married. Uh, my wife is actually from Panama, so I get to go to Panama pretty regularly. Uh, I've got twins, boy-girl twins. They're 10 years old, actually, as of May 4th. May the 4th be with you. Uh, and and as, I, as we were talking before, I used to be able to do magic and have enough deception uh, skills or logic uh, to, to, to make them believe stuff, like, you know, coins coming out <laughs> of their ears, all that stuff. Um, I haven't tried it in a while. I'm not sure that it would work these days. There you go. You can leave that up to David Copperfield and Shin Lim. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing stuff. It's so cool to see that stuff. So I'm looking in your background here and it looks like you got stuff that's health related. Is that's got something to do with vitamin C? Cause I was looking on the internet too with, uh, with your website and stuff. Is that, well, so um, actually the product and, and the company, and you, if you're looking, you can see behind, by the way, I think at, if yeah. you're looking, you can subscribe and follow. <laughs> uh, behind me is My Vital C. Uh, that's really the brand. It's also on my lab coat here. Um, that's the, the, the brand that I created to really present uh, a molecule that I've been working with since 1991 to really bring it to market because uh, it showed some, some pretty amazing results, actually, some pretty amazing stuff. Well, that stuff is, is fascinating. I'm not a big health kind of person. I'm kind of like a natural do whatever happens kind of, but the chemistry in the body, it can do some amazing things. And I'll just be uh, open and transparent. When I was in like seventh grade, I tried some blotter acid. <laughs> okay. And the wow. chemical that... is amazing what that small chemical will do. So it sounds like you're a, a chemist perhaps, and you had the so, ability to... Huh? Yeah, my background, I'm mechanical engineering, and, and I actually met my business partner in a physics class, and uh, I always remember the physics professor's name, because his name is Dr. Weinstein, and I feel like that's a name that means you're going to be a physics professor, uh, and so I met my business partner, Robert, in, in physics class, and we, we started the business in 1991. Basically, he was working at the University of Houston. I'm an alum from the University of Houston. Go Cougs. Uh, and he was working with a Dr. Paul Chu, who is pretty famous in, in the superconductivity research arena. And in fact, on, on the U of H campus, we, had, we, we called it Chu's Castle because they built a superconductivity center for him. So my business partner, Robert, was working at the Texas Center for Superconductivity. He was separating fullerenes, and I'll talk about what fullerenes are here in a second. And Dr. Chu came in one day and was like, hey, you are young guys. This material's really expensive. It was selling for $6,000 a gram. Uh, why don't you guys go start a business? And my business partner is from an entrepreneurial background, um, and $6,000 a gram resonated with him. And so he started the business. They brought me in. He actually had another business partner. They brought me in to help do the drawing. Drawings, the, the reactor that we use uh, creates, really we're vaporizing graphite, which is one of the hardest materials on the planet to vaporize. So the local temperatures are the same as the local temperatures of the sun. So it needed a lot of drawings and it needed a lot of um, uh, capacity to remove heat from the reactor. And so that's why I, I was brought into that particular project. Wow, this is really deep stuff. <laughs> 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 so get this, the material we're making in that reactor uh, really is carbon nanomaterials. In 1985 at Rice University, 
also in Houston, this is kind of a Houston story, I'm very proud of that, um, they discovered the third form of carbon. So we're all familiar with diamond. I just mentioned graphite. It's also graphite is the same thing that's in a pencil lead. And they discovered the third form of carbon, which is fullerenes. They get to name it, they called it fullerenes. And there's a whole gamut of molecules in, in fullerenes. Uh, the most abundant is the buckyball. The best way to think about the buckyball is picture a soccer ball, and the lines on the soccer ball represent the bonds between the carbon atoms. So you have 60 carbon atoms in this spherical molecule. Um, the buckyball is the most abundant, but there's carbon 70, which is a little more rugby ball shaped. There's carbon 76, carbon 84, so on up. There's a lot of fullerene molecules. This molecule they discovered in 1985, and then in as quickly as 1996, the three professors actually won the Nobel Prize for that discovery because the scientific community, one, they were just all abuzz basically in 1991 when we started the parent company. Uh, 10 of the 10 most referenced scientific papers were about fullerenes. That's how excited the, the scientific community was about these fullerenes. Um, and they're, they're pretty amazing molecules. They're superconducting. They're harder than a diamond. They'll actually turn into a diamond. Uh, they've got six-fold symmetry. You can actually fire a buckyball at a plate of steel at like 10,000 miles an hour. Most molecules just shatter. This will actually compress and then bounce right back. So it's an incredibly resilient molecule. And all of these amazing properties are kind of why it won the Nobel Prize. And then you kind of fast forward, if, if it's got all these amazing properties and, and we're gonna use it ubiquitously in society, then we've gotta understand is the material toxic. Uh, it has some parallels with benzene, which is toxic. And so they assumed it would be toxic. And in the toxicity study they did, this kind of first toxicity study, uh, they gave rats water, rats olive oil, and then rats olive oil with ESS60, which is this, the My Vital C formulation. Um, instead of being toxic, those rats lived 90% longer and died without tumors. Because of the difference of the water versus oil? Well, so water uh, is the control group and a typical Worcester rat will live 32 months and they'll die with a known amount of tumors and how much tumors depends on how long the rat lives. The rat lives longer, it's got more tumors. Even though these rats, given the My Vital C formula, live twice as long, so they lived out to 62 months on average, none of them had any tumors. Wow. Um, so really, this is the single longest longevity experiment on mammals, peer-reviewed, published research that exists. So is this, this oil, is it ingested or injected, or what, where do you put it in the rat? Yeah, so the way they gave it to the rats was they actually did what's called gavaging. Uh, and gavaging is actually when you stick a tube down a rat in a rat's throat and you actually make sure that the, the oil with the ESS60 molecule uh, gets into their stomach. Um, so that's how that's done. I take, really I've got a couple, uh, in fact, here's, a, here's one of our kind of doses. This is just a little My Vital C uh, 5 mil uh, ampule, right? It's a PB, okay. EPA free uh, plastic ampule. It's great for taking on the go. It's got exactly five mils or one teaspoon in it. Basically, you just separate it from the other piece. I'm kind of, if anybody's just listening, and then you've got this olive oil that's in it. It's mostly olive oil. Just like that. Pour it in your mouth and swallow it. Now, some people really love the taste of olive oil. Um, some people don't like the taste of olive oil, olive oil so much. We tend to use a higher quality olive oil and it'll leave a little peppery flavor uh, at the back of your throat. Uh, some people don't like that, so you can just take a sip of water or whatever afterwards. And if you really don't like olive oil, you could actually put it on a plate and dip bread in it. I don't know if you've been to an Italian sure. restaurant where they give you- yeah, I was just so gonna can, ask that. Can you put a little Parmesan and pepper? And yeah, and, and, and a couple of, 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 of different spices in it, Abs absolutely. Um, so, so you can certainly do that. My routine uh, typically is I'll have, we make, we make our ESS60 uh, with olive oil, with MCT oil, and with avocado oil. I'll actually, in the morning with my coffee, I'll put some of the MCT. I don't know if you're familiar with uh, Bulletproof Coffee. Yeah. It's a, Dave Asprey is a, you know, a great, actually coined the phrase biohacker. Um, so I'm getting a, a, a Bulletproof Coffee experience, except with my kind of magic molecule ESS60 in it. Uh, and then I'll have about a teaspoon and a half. Um, really, the only reason is it's a teaspoon and a half because it's the big spoon that sits in my kitchen and I measured it once and it's a teaspoon and a half. So I just fill that. 
uh, and then I'll actually have some avocado of our avocado uh, at lunch. It's important to note mm -hmm. that that you can get significantly more ESS60 in the olive oil than you can in either the avocado or the MCT. So, and of course, the original research was with the olive oil. So, if you're kind of trying to replicate that. And, you know, I, I do ask people, you know, would, would you like to live longer? And a lot of people, like, their first response is, well, no, that doesn't sound good. And I'm like, well, what, what if you had your health? Like, what if you were healthier? Because uh, there was nothing in that original study that said, you know, these were decrepit rats and they were walking around with walkers and they needed oxygen. <laughs> <laughs> um, they lived healthy lives until they passed 90% longer, you know, after, uh, well, not after, like, 50, 45% after they were supposed to die, right? So uh, it's a pretty, pretty amazing, uh, amazing result. So is this a, a daily ingestion? You kind of take it like your morning, whatever? Yeah, so uh, I take it I, as part of my routine. I, I can tell you uh, our most consistent testimonial uh, is people take it in the morning, they report, report mental focus and energy during the day, uh, and then they report better sleep that night and, and and we'll talk about sleep in a second i just know if i'm in the middle of the day and i start yawning uh i can look back and usually it's because i haven't taken my dose or if it's a really busy day i just take an extra dose uh to to kind of help me give me that energy boost through the day so it's nothing like caffeine or anything like that it's uh it's natural energy that it just uh, instills and gets it gets it moving yeah exactly so I, i'm kind of thinking about products that say something along the lines of you know all the energy and none of the jitters of caffeine and better sleep that night, right? So it's interesting because our customers again report, they take it in the morning, uh, mental focus and energy during the day and better sleep that night. I'm not aware of anything like most sleep aids you take, you take right before you go to sleep. And if you're taking a prescription, there's a book called Why We Sleep, phenomenal book by Matthew Walker. And it talks about the $2 billion sleep aid industry. And he's a, he's a sleep researcher. And he talks about how detrimental these sleep aids that knock you out are. They do relax your kind of internal chemical pressure. So you wake up not desiring sleep and therefore, quote unquote, feeling well slept. But they don't allow you to get your REM sleep or your yeah. in REM sleep, which I had never heard of prior to reading that book. Uh, and those are the two stages of sleep where your body does all its healing. So you're waking up without the desire to sleep and none of the healing. It's like the opposite of what you're really trying to go. Think about getting hit in the head and being unconscious for 16 hours. Do you wake up and go, well, that was refreshing. <laughs> That's right. It's uh, induced from an undesired source. E exactly. So, so the oil, a is it, um, what was I going to say here? Is it like, like a natural oil? Oh yeah, it's definitely, it's an just organic. Engineered. Yeah, it's organic, it's extra virgin, all of that stuff. Yeah, so um, when you get into other stuff that's different chemicals and things, they are artificially doing stuff. Like I don't, I take a, a half an aspirin once in a while, just to keep yeah. my blood thin, because I had a little bit of a, I had a transient ischemic attack. Yeah. It was back. So I just do that to make sure that, you know, get the plaque through and get the clots through and get the blood flowing. Yeah. But I don't take anything um, I just uh, kind of go with whatever feels good. If it feels like I should have a Snickers, I'm craving some kind of sugar or something, you know? Yeah. No, I'm very much like if I have any cravings, I want to lean towards those cravings. I do think that's really true because I started, um, uh, I don't know if you're familiar, there's a guy by the name of Dr. Stephen Gundry who's written a book, a couple of books, uh, The Plant Paradox, The Longevity Paradox. Uh, I was actually on his podcast and, and he talks about your gut biome and how much, you know, uh, flora you have in your, in your gut and how it needs to be very healthy. And I will actually coming into 2020, you know, through 2019, I knew I needed to reset my diet. Uh, I did reset my diet. He, it's a f fabulous book. And it talks about lectins uh, and getting lectins out of your diet. And really when I did that, I just don't crave sweets the way I used to. I mean, I used to mm -hmm. see a sweet and be like, well, quick, let me shove it in my mouth. Um, and I just don't have that craving. I still want the taste. So I'm, I'm much more able to like take a small bite of it, and enjoy the flavor, but not have to eat all of it. And I do right. believe that has to do with my gut biome uh, being what he calls gut buddies versus, you know, gut enemies. And when your gut buddies are in charge, uh, then it, they're driving, you know, it goes right up the vagus nerve to kind of drive your cravings and drive what you're going to, those things that you're going to want. I think you can also tell if something is just a craving versus is it some kind of an addiction or something like you're sitting right. around and 
gee, I'd like to have a cup of cho chocolate chips or something. Sweet, yeah. Sweet tooth. Or yeah. is it, God, I want to go grab that bag of potato chips and and just dive in. Yeah. Yeah. So being, being in tune with what's going on. So the, the stuff that you've got, it's nice to know that it's a natural thing. It's not something that's a. You know, yeah. So, so obviously the oils in. are, uh, they're extra, they're cold pressed, extra virgin olive oils. So that's the most natural olive oils that you can get. Same, uh, same with the avocado. And then the MCT oil is from organic coconuts, uh, which is pretty particular and causes it to be a little bit expensive. Um, and then the actual ESS 60 molecule, if you take a candle flame, right, and you put a cold plate over the candle plane, you'll, you'll collect some soot. And yeah. in that soot, you have parts per million of the ESS 60 molecule. Uh, so it's, it's there and, and naturally occurring uh, to make it in appreciable quantities. Uh, you, we do have to do it in our reactor. Now, it, that's a little different than trying to replicate hormones in the lab. Because in chemistry, you can have, you know, an arm can go this way, and then they can make the exact same component with the exact same number of carbon atoms, hydrogen atoms, everything. But if it curves to the other direction, it can do drastically different things in your body. We're talking about a molecule. The molecule is made with 60 atoms. Those atoms are carbon. So one, whether you're collecting it from candle soot or you're collecting it from our reactor or anybody else's reactor uh, is identical to the next. It's a molecule. So that's the whole thing about it being uh, engineered. You're kind of figuring out where's the good, what's the good path of versus the bad path. Yeah. Yeah. You, you got, you got to be careful, uh, especially when it comes to putting things in your body. I think there's a, you were talking about engineering. I'm a, a mechanical engineer by education. I'm now a supplement guy, which is very weird for me to say. I never, I didn't wake up and say, I'm going to save the, I feel like people become supplement guys one of two ways. One, they decide they're going to get wealthy uh, and they they're going to do that by selling supplements. And I have no problem with people being wealthy. I just, that's not how I ended up here. The other is people, you know, they either have their own physical challenges or maybe the physical challenges of a loved one. And so they're trying to solve those physical challenges and they do with supplementation. And now they want to save the world. Hopefully it doesn't surprise you. I'm not against people saving the world. It's just not how I ended up here. I've been manufacturing this carbon nanomaterial since 1991. They do this study in 2012. Somebody starts talking about the benefits they're getting uh, in 20, late 2017. And I wake up in 2018 and now I'm a supplement guy who's got this, I've got this, this quandary, right? I'm, uh, two questions I had to ask myself. First is a moral and obviously the most important question. I take it. My wife takes it. Everybody on my team takes it. I'm comfortable selling it. It's safe. Uh, the next is an FDA or FTC consideration. Uh, and we're on the right side of the, both of those institutions. So uh, that's when we started selling really my vital C, uh, you know, in earnest. So when we got into this stuff, it's like there's a lot of words that were used that I don't understand. And I'm assuming that the people that are listening don't really quite understand it, but it's intriguing. How can we learn more about what it is that you're offering and you've created I, here? Absolutely. So one, you can go to our website. If you just go to myvitalc.com, uh, you can find out more about our products and you can find out more about the original research and that our parent company was the one who sold the product. Like we're, we've been in this again since 1991, feels like forever. Um, I'd also like to offer a, a, a coupon to your audience. Uh, if they go to our website, um, scroll down, we sell our products and then we sell our products on subscription. On subscription, it's about a 20% discount. So it's a significant discount. Um, and we, we do, you can cancel at any time. So make sure you take advantage of that discount. I have not trained my sales staff. When you call, if you need to call to cancel, you can actually cancel just by sending an email. I've not trained my staff to like convince you not to cancel. Like we just honor that cancel. Take advantage of that, um, of that discount when you go on subscription. Uh, and also if they use the code MAGICBRAD, um, then they'll get $15 off of their, uh, their initial order. Very cool. I will also post that when I, what I do with these, I take the video recording and I put it on blog posts and I propagate it out. So I'll put that within the blog post. To, to Excellent. I can actually make you a specific link. If you'd like, um, we do have an affiliate program. I'd love to support what you're doing. Yo, why don't you send that? That's a lot of what I do is affiliate marketing. So Okay, you, well, the, your link will be uh, myvitalc.com slash magicbrad.
Just like that, make it easy. I love easy. <laughs> well, Chris, I appreciate you taking the time. I'm going to uh, get to work and beam this up to the universe. Is there anything else you want to say before you drift away? No, I, I think, um, you know, in this really challenging time, uh, really what connected us was me partnering. And I think you're going to have another uh, uh, kind of another show with a, a really good friend of mine, Dr. Patrick Wanis. Uh, so make sure you tune into that. He'll actually give a link and the link uh, will be on my website where he's giving away a free ebook and a free meditation guide to help you manage stress and emotions during this really tough time. Um, my product, uh, My Vital C, uh, does really support your immune system in five different ways. So I think that's important to outline. It's antibiotic, it's anti, uh, antiviral, um, it's, a, it's a, an antioxidant, actually 172 times more powerful than vitamin C. Um, the word anti-inflammatory is very um, touchy for the FDA. So I like to say uh, it fits naturally in an anti-inflammatory diet. Uh, and then of course, sleep helps your physical, mental, and emotional well-being. So those are five ways that it does support your immune system. I want to be very clear. I'm not saying uh, that this is a cure for COVID. I'm not saying uh, really there's no even research to suggest that uh, it has a specific impact. We just know people with compromised immune systems are the ones who are facing the most troubling times. Well, um, I think that's the problem I know, on that topic of the COVID thing. I think it's a, a matter of a good immune system is what's going to help a lot of people just by taking care of yourself and thinking good and exercising and, and de-stressing and meditating and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, so I just want to share, like, take care of, uh, take care of one another. Uh, it's really stressful times, and make you sure you turn into the the Patrick Wanis, Doctor Patrick Wanis, um, uh, broadcast, so that you can get and take advantage of that, of that free audio book and free guided meditation. And when I put these out, I will cross pollinate those these two different uh, interviews too. So, Chris, I appreciate well, you taking the time. I'm going to sign this one off and beam it up to the universe, and then if you want to. Stick around. We'll try and see if we can hook that other situation up too, okay? That sounds good. Thanks.